Good afternoon. Hope you're keeping well. It's Mark here from MLS and Sons. G1DX is my call sign. I hope you're keeping well and uh, interesting times to say the least. This video is just a very brief uh, help you make your mind up video. One of the questions I often get asked about the Yesu's new flagship receiver, the FTDX 101 NP, is it's an extra thousand pounds for a hundred watts, and isn't that a bit expensive? And are Yesu, you know, what, what are Yesu up to? I just want to explain a little about the, about the MP and show you that actually it's a lot more. You're getting a lot more than an extra hundred watts for the FTDX 101 MP over the D version. They're both excellent transceivers, but I just want you to see where your money goes when you're paying the premium for the MP. So <clears throat> I'm going to just briefly list out to you here a few things we have. So in the MP version, you've got the, the VC tune unit, the um, pre-selector on the front end. On the D version, you only have the pre-selector as standard on the uh, main receiver. If you want the pre-selector on the sub-receiver as well on the D, and we can do that, we can fit that, but that will cost you an extra £259.95. So that's £259.95. And apologies if you can't see that. It's the best I can do in the circumstances. Uh, so that's for VC tune on two receivers. So that comes uh, as standard on the 101 MP. The other thing that's standard on the 101 MP, it comes with an external speaker. Now this speaker on the MP is a bit special because it's also got the power supply in it, but just let's say we bought the Yesu external speaker, the normal one, and added that to the D version. So that would cost you an extra £139.95. So that's 139.95, and that's for the speaker. And you might think, oh yeah, but I don't really need the speaker. Yeah, you don't really need the speaker. However, if you've got the speaker, as it has supplied a standard on the MP, you can listen to the sub-receiver through the chassis speaker, and uh, say the main receiver uh, through, the, um, through the external speaker. So you get a stereo. And it is actually quite useful sometimes, especially if you're monitoring two antennas or two frequencies. Having it coming out of the same speaker actually is less clear than separating them. So that's an extra £139.95. The other thing that's standard on the MP version is that you get the additional 300 hertz CW filter on the main receiver. And for the CW, uh, persons or CWers of you, um, that's actually quite quite a good thing. It's a 300 hertz, an additional 300 hertz roofing filter over the standard 600 hertz might help you get that contact when the bands are busy. And that to fit that is 144.95. And to fit these filters, um, to fit these filters. Um, on these radios they have to be soldered in the 101 because the 101 has such a quiet receiver um, it, it pu have push-in filters wouldn't suffice it would make too much noise so the 101 MP hasn't has this filter as standard on the D version we can fit it but it'll cost you £144.95 um, now this the, the other couple of items I have to get, just want you to get your head around a little bit. So the 101D version needs an external power supply, but the MP comes with its own proprietary 50 volt power supply. That's why the, the MP version has a better IMD performance because of its 50 volt finals. But just let's say we could buy an external power supply and we, we wanted to provide that for the D version and we wanted to provide the power supply that's sufficient to give 200 watts. So the, the, the best thing I can do is say 
uh, is to use the Mydel 60 amp power supply. It's only 13.8 uh, volts, but just to give you an example, so if it, so the the Mydel 60 amp power supply um, would cost, just to give it some relation to 200 watts, because um, of course the 30 amp one would would not do. That would be uh, 14995. But truthfully, um, if that was a Yaesu power supply, we could easily put another hundred quid on that if it's a manufacturer's power supply. Maybe more, maybe a lot more. I know some of the other brands, their power supplies cost um, three digit, big, mid, 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 like 500 quid. Um, now the other thing that's different in the MP version, and it's not to be overlooked, the, uh, the D version um, tuner inside the radio genuinely is a 100 watt tuner. Whereas the MP version genuinely inside the radio has a different tuner. It's a 200 watt tuner, makes kind of sense. But so if we wanted to make 200 watts and we wanted to tune it, you would need to provide an external tuner. And I think this is fair for me to add this. So I've put in here uh, the cost of an LDG 200 watt tuner. Um, I know the LDG tuners are, they have more capability, but I don't think it's unfair for me to put this in because I haven't bumped up the PSU value. So I think it balances. So an LDG extra 200 watt tuner, external, that's, um, that comes at 17995. Um, and then we still have got a little delta here on the power output. So the best I could find on the inter internet was it's a little bit more than a CB class um, power amplifier, but it's in that ilk. It hasn't really got pre-selectors on it. It's not clean uh, really, uh, but it gives us a pricing example. So to get a 200 watt transistor linear, CB class kind of, but what that is, is HF, that would be £189.95. I think you'll find, I hope you, you feel that these figures are reasonable, but I want that to just put, that's the linear. So if, we, if you add up all of those items on the MP version, it comes to approximately £1,000 and 64 pounds 90. So I want you to see when you're, when you're trying to think, do I go for the D model? Do I go for the MP model? Is the D model really just Yesu detuning the MP version? No, it genuinely is not Yesu doing that. The MP version has different finals in it, genuinely, different voltages in it, different tuner in it and it has more kit inside it as well. So I hope that helps you make up your mind. Do you go for the MP or do you go for the D? And also on the, on the cost of the radio, again, some people have said it's expensive. All I'd say is what is expensive? Comp remembering that this is the top of banana radio right at the moment on the Sherwood report before the 101 MP to get a radio that was top banana, you would be looking at spending £10,000. So actually, it's actually cheap if you compare it to a comparable radio, or sorry, a radio of comparable performance. So just to give things, you know, comparing apples with apples. I hope this video has helped. As ever, we're still operating. The guys are online. We're, we're here to help you. Give us a call. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. And, you know, thoughts go out to you and we really do look, ho uh, look forward to speaking with you on air. And in the meantime, a big 73 from me, Mark and all the team at Martin Lynch and Sons. Have a great weekend. Bye bye.